I got out of work a little late tonight, so. Oh, wait, I gotta move this. So, kitties wanted some chili, so 9 o'clock at night, and I'm making chili. Um, it came on tonight because it came to my attention um, yesterday um, that, you know, there's a lot of people out there that don't know that I have MS. And I guess the reason for that being is I was diagnosed um, about 20 years ago. So I was, what, 23, 24? And back then when I was diagnosed, you know, you really didn't talk about it that much. And it wasn't something you talked about to a lot of people because you were going for jobs and things. And people frowned upon hiring people that had, quote, unquote, illnesses. Um, so for those who don't know, MS is an autoimmune disease. Now, there's a lot of different symptoms and things that go along with MS. And as some of you know, I do sell CBD oil for Hemp Works. And we are not allowed to say certain things because we have to be compliant um, because of the fact that pharmaceutical companies and things like that coin phrases and own them so we can't say them um, for liability purposes. So you'll bear with me as I go through different things. But, hi, Georgia. But with the whole MS thing, um, as some of you will know from having one of the four different types that you have, you go through different things in your life. And me, I have been extremely lucky because I have not had a symptom in almost a year, which is really awesome. Um, so things like I would get bombs going off in my head, you know, um, almost on a daily basis, something would be going on with my head. Um, and nine out of 10 times it turned into something really big with, um, having to shut my eyes because the light was too bright or the room was spinning so bad I could barely hold myself up. Um, you know, in your head, it's not fun when things like that would happen. I remember feeling sometimes it would tingle so bad and it would almost feel like the skin on your face was going like this, even though when you look in the mirror, nothing's happening to you. But the feeling would be like going like this. And I'd be going, oh my God. And people would see me at work all the time doing this. And Nikki, what's the matter? What are you looking for? And it's just because it felt that way. So I was always checking to make sure it wasn't that way. Um, you know, those are some things that I went through. There was times that um, I would go to take a drink and all of a sudden my throat was just frozen. Nothing would go down, and I'd be like, hold on a second, or choking. Um, you know, there were times that I would just overheat so bad and feel like um, I couldn't breathe. There have been times in my life, on three different occasions, I have lost feeling in the right side of my body, and I wasn't able to do anything. Um, one time it lasted about two and a half months. I couldn't, I couldn't hold my daughter. Um, without somebody's assistance, I couldn't drive a car, I couldn't cut my food, couldn't do anything. The entire right side of my body was gone. And that's happened to me on more than one occasion. And I had to have steroid treatments and things to, um, you know, get my body back. There's so many different things that happen when you have these illnesses. Um, and you can't always explain it. And sometimes, you know, different people will go through different things depending on the stage of it. Um... And you never exactly know what's going to happen. And it can be really, really scary. Um, so I do apologize to anybody that has been following me and paying attention to me for not talking about my MS. Like I said, I grew up in a time where it wasn't something you talked about. And it wasn't okay to have it. And people didn't know a lot about it. It took them about six to seven weeks to diagnose me with an illness. And they made me feel like I was an idiot for the things that I was saying we're going on with my body, excuse me, for anybody who just jumped on. I'm cooking for my kids chili at 9 o'clock at night because I had to work late and they asked for chili. Um, what moms do, right? So, you know, it's been, it's been a long haul. I have been extremely lucky. Now, please don't misunderstand. Yes, I sell CBD. Am I claiming that it cures anything? No, I'm not. Has it helped me? It has helped me so much I can't even tell you. There were times that um, my husband didn't know what to do because I was sitting there and the spasms that would go down my legs, um, it would just shoot 
and I would just sit there and I would jump up and the tears would stream down my face and he, he would just look at me and say, do I need to call a doctor? Do I need to take you to the hospital? What do I do? And there's nothing, there's nothing that anybody can do when things like that happen. And a lot of people don't understand. And a lot of people think you're making things up because they're not seeing it visibly on the outside or the doctors aren't sure because some of them are still trying to figure out you know, these di all these different illnesses and what they can do and what they don't do. And some of them actually do their homework and do the research and have answers, which I found was really great. And others don't even know what they're talking about. I remember complaining about my head to a new doctor and they said, well, that has nothing to do with my illness. And I went, huh? Because the last guy I was seeing in another state has been treating me for it for 10 years. So they're evolving too. But I just want to let you know... Yes, CBD has helped me with it because somebody was asking me about it the other day because they were newly diagnosed and heard that CBD could help. Um, has it cured me? No. Has, do I feel that it's helped me personally? Yes. Um, all those things I talked about with my head, I really don't have, um, which has been really awesome because you're talking, I would go through something with my head every single day. Um, I don't feel as down in the dumps as I once did. I have, a, I have a lot more clarity. I think I have a lot more patience. Um, I think I have a better outlook on life because I feel more like me. And when you go through all of this, if you're somebody who has multiple sclerosis or a different um, type of ailment in this way, you lose yourself somewhere and you, you get so involved in the being sick, you feel like you, you're not you. So I feel like I've, I've gotten myself back. And I can only talk from my experience with it. But I do. I feel like I've gotten myself back. Um, I feel rejuvenated. Um, I, I just feel like me before I ever got sick. So, And I think that's one of the reasons that I don't talk about it. Because I don't feel sick anymore. And when you don't feel like you have something, I guess you kind of just kind of forget that it's there. I mean, I guess it's always going to be there. But as far as I'm concerned right now, I don't feel sick. So I, I, I'm not sick. And that's really the way I like living my life. So again, I apologize for not talking about my illness for anybody who's been following me um, and is affected by multiple sclerosis. I really, really, truly do. I didn't realize I was doing you a disservice until somebody who's known me a decent amount of time said, was talking to me about MS and what her doctor said to her about um, MS and the possibility of CBD oil. And I was talking to her about it. She said, I didn't realize you had MS. And that's my fault. And that really is my fault. And I am to blame for that. But I do. I do have multiple sclerosis. I have been diagnosed with multiple sclerosis for about 20 years now. And I've had the best year of my life. Um, and I do believe that CBD is helping me with all of the different things going on in my body, making me feel better. So if you would like some information about CBD products, if you would like to see what it may be able to do for you and how it can make you feel better, we offer sample packs, which are totally free. Um, you just pay the shipping. Our CBD oil is U.S. Hemp Authority certified, so you don't have to worry about all those ones out there that are making people sick. And we offer a 60-day empty bottle money back guarantee, so that's even better because what do you really have to lose when we're offering you, hey, here's your money back if you're not happy, which I have honestly never had yet. So if anybody has any questions or wants to message me, talk to me in the comments, please feel free to do so. I'd be happy to talk to anybody. If anybody just wants to talk about MS a little bit, um, just needs a support system or somebody to talk to because they don't have anybody who understands, hi, Took a long time to get diagnosed, went through all kinds of hell, quote unquote. So if you need somebody to talk to, I'm there for that too, okay? Thanks for listening, and I hope everybody has a great weekend.